Welcome to topic 8. Here we do a very simple way of anomaly detection using statistical metric calculation. So notably we will be discussing two ways. One is median absolute deviation which is a statistical metric and the second one is an Grubbs outlier test. Statistical metric means that we are not actually applying any machine learning algorithm. But what we are doing is that we apply a simple threshold based anomaly detector which adapts to changing data by maintaining an aggregate moving average of the series fall in this category. It's a very simple method. We calculate some statistical value and based on that then we see the series time series and find the outlier. The first method is the median absolute deviation which is a, an alternative to standard deviation and the rule is for example that an anomaly can be an at any point that lies more than two standard deviation from the mean so we define the mean of the series first of all the mean where all uh, the higher points are lying of the data and then uh, the rule is that any point that lie two point more uh, uh, on a distance of two uh, standard deviation from the mean that will be considered as an outlier so a mean of zero and standard deviation of one will be in the normal data set. Any data point that lie between minus two and two will be considered regular. A data point with a value 2.5 would be considered anomalous for the median absolute deviation. This is how we calculate the median absolute deviation. It is also given in the case study as well and we will see it in the case study. The second method is the Grubb outlier test. So we perform a test on the series and we calculate few values. Uh, the notably most important thing is that we remove the previously detected outlier between each iteration. So we, we uh, in each iteration, we try to remove one of the outlier from the series. This is how we calculate the grub test uh, we for example calculate the grub test and uh, we have a series of the data over here we have data is equal to like for example 5 10 9.5 9.8 and 9.9 you can see clearly that 5 is an outlier it is not actually very close uh, to to the rest of the series so if we take n is equal to 5 the grub tab table tell us that the value is 1.6.72 uh, and we have to predict that n is 5 or outlier uh, with 95 percent confidence this is the formula for calculating the grub value we have the questionable value which is 5 over here and then we calculate the average of all the series over here and it has to be divided by the uh, standard deviation the standard deviation has a standard formula over here that uh, we have to uh, minus it from the uh, from uh, the average has to be minus from each respective element of the list and then it has to be divided by uh, n minus 1 uh, so we get 1.8 and when we actually make a comparison the 1.8 is actually greater than the uh, 1.6.72 so this actually gives us that the 5 is the outlier so this is a simple way how we calculate how we perform the grub test to uh, to see that whether a point is outlier or not statistical metric comparison is a very simple way to perform anomaly detection i mean we we are not actually uh, doing any uh, any machine learning algorithm so it's just calculation that we are doing and we check many of the boxes for features of an optimal anomaly detector it is a very simple way to tune and maintain perform uh, uh, i mean it's very simple but it is very limited as well because statistical metric have limited learning capabilities often perform worse than more powerful machine learning algorithms so if we have a time series data which is more erratic or it has no seasons or cycles so uh, it is very difficult to uh, to have the statistical metric comparison used for anomaly detection thank you very much and i see you in the next topic